Ask me who do I represent? You know. And um I represent the farmers. I represent contractors. I represent the uh, homemakers. I represent the ninety nine percent. You know? Us people at the bottom of the food chain here in America, I represent those people. And my whole entire campaign will be done on YouTube, over the internet. So, who do I represent? That farmer who, who wants to grow something I represent that guy. The man who wants to open up a mom and pop store. I represent that guy. You know, the young people who want a free education. I represent those people. Those people who want a free universal health care in America I represent those people I represent those troops overseas who are fighting in wars that really have not much to do with us things that we can avoid so um, I don't know. I guess I represent the real soul of America. People who want to go to work. I will bring back, I guarantee, I will bring back those crappy, low paying jobs that Obama said we don't need no more in America. I will bring back the network what built America in the first place. Hard working American citizens fixing the roads and you know infrastructure of this country from city to city to town to town, freeway to freeway, state to state. And how do you do this? Well simple. You meaning me as in us, the United States government will employ these people ourselves. So you say, why? Why, why would you employ these people? So we can have people work. Once they learn how to, to work here, then they can work in other countries doing the same thing, rebuilding the world infrastructure. You know, you have to start off at home first. I would, and I repeat, I would modify our borders. We have troops coming home from battle situations, and we are in being invaded on all fronts from Canada to Mexico, Miami to Alaska. We are being invaded. First thing I would do, bring all troops home instantly bada bang bada bam wham bam thank you ma'am we're coming home sorry it's going to be a short visit because then you'll be redeployed on the new front lines, the border between Canada 
in the United States of America and in Mexico. Florida, California. You get it? Bring them troops on. Put them to work. Army Corps of Engineers, I'm going to have you start rebuilding hospitals in the United States of America. Retrofit. Seismic upgrades. And then Army, Air Force, Navy, Marines, I will strip you of your medical divisions to combine them to create the medical corps to train our high school graduates to become doctors for the future and man our abandoned hospitals with our own medical troops to heal our citizens so they can be strong enough to rebuild our infrastructure while our troops are on our borders all borders of the United States of America and um, someone asked me about foreign aid there's thousands upon thousands of farms there's thousands upon thousands of empty, dilapidated factories across America. There's thousands upon thousands upon millions of Americans who need work. So your country needs aid. We need food. Our farmers got you. We need clothes. Our factories got that. We need shoes. We got that. No longer will we send checks to other countries. Especially if we have a large amount of their citizens on our soil. What do I consider a large amount? any country on the planet that has more than 1,000 of their own people on the United States of American soil can forget about getting any any monetary assistance from the United States of America. Oh, and did I tell you, our borders will be closed and opened in one year increments. So for a year you can't get in and you can't get out. We don't want to fluctuate any numbers or have people fly here and do whatever they want to do and leave. We're going to fix in-house first before we open the gates again. I am speaking for the 99%. Of course, I would love people to go and come freely, but that's just the way it is. We have a lot of mouths to feed and not much to feed them with. We don't farm, we don't manufacture, and we need to. And the only way we can do this is by slowing the flow. By having the floodgates open and close on a quarterly basis, we have a better chance at controlling the numbers and extending the resources. Expansion. 
not since the great boom has Americans been able to expand. We need to push the boundaries into the, the deserts through some of the wilderness without losing the true luster and feel of America. We need to homestead again and stretch, build new cities and new towns, push our limits. Technology. We have the technology to move forward. We as a country are smart enough to know that in order to get off the oil kick, you must stop using oil. We have the technology to build a fleet of electric cars. And as the leader of this country, I would demand of the auto industry to make a backwards capability engine that will fit in any existing car now but would run on future electric standards. Don't build a new car. Build an engine to go on the old car to make it run like new. Basic human respect. As the President of the United States of America, I would declare every human be given a basic human respect. This would be a law that would get rid of thousands of laws. Instead of rewriting or changing, we would just get rid of a lot of unneeded laws. The Constitution of the United States of America is filled with a lot of junk laws which were slapped with BS, I said it, BS amendments. Get rid of the whole law itself and you won't have to have the amendment. In other words, everyone is created equal. Not each man, everyone. You know, and that's the bottom line. No, but if, uh, well, if this, you know, everybody's created equal, period. No more that 4% human being, let's no amendment, no, they're equal. Get rid of it. Monetary responsibility we as a country understand trends and learn trends and they know they know what goes down comes round if they fixed the economy back in the 30s to avoid the same exact thing that's happening now shouldn't they have installed a reset mechanism not every family gets to hold their money for three and four hundred generations, thousands of years. The average person only lives 70 years. So you figure you live 70 years, you pass something on to your kid, he lives 70 years, so on and so forth. 70 years is the cycle. There should have been a grand reset to where all the economic re uh, counters reset to zero. Yes, an exoneration. If the banks got bailed out and the people didn't get bailed out, why are you going to give banks money because the people can't pay their bills? You paid the people's bill, but the people still owe the banks. The banks never gave out loans. There need to be a grand reset. Thank you for your time. Vote for me.